name's Jenny Tavares and I'm going to submit my response to the question of class diversity within the legal profession. Topics relating to diversity vary, some of which include gender, ethnicity, social status or ability or disability. Whilst this debate is centrally concerned with class diversity, it's important to understand that very closely linked to class status are issues of ethnicity and disability. Ensuring that the legal profession is representative of society whilst also ensuring that the best candidates enter the profession is a very delicate balance to be met. However, it should not be assumed that allowing someone from a non-traditional background, be it related to their class or gender for example, means a compromise in standards. It's important to understand that in today's society, legal professionals need to come from as diverse a background as those they serve in an attempt to observe a social and moral um, responsibility, fostering mutual respect and understanding. It's very important to ensure that people from various social backgrounds represent the true makeup of society today. In some areas of law, this will inevitably mean that legal professionals are able to empathise with clients and gain a true understanding of their needs. Finally, breaking this existing class ceiling and allowing entrance into the legal profession by people from various classes and less affluent backgrounds means that awareness and legitimacy within the legal profession is heightened and the benefits of diversity are truly utilised.